Major update in an I-Team investigation you first saw here a year ago. People living in Fairway Oaks, that neighborhood built on a landfill years ago. Well, those residents are now represented by an attorney and have filed a lawsuit against the city of Jacksonville and Habijax. I want to show you the view of the Fairway Oaks subdivision from the Sky 4 drone. This was all built by Habijax 16 years ago. Residents have been begging the city for help the past decade after their homes began splitting in half and sinking. Tonight, the attorney who filed the lawsuit spoke with Channel Force Francesca Amaker. Fran is joining us. Fran, residents tell you it's been a long time coming for them, right? And they are ecstatic to finally have representation, which is what they've wanted for more than 10 years, Kent. Now, the attorney that is now representing these residents at Fairway Oaks is just as passionate as they are about these issues. In fact, this is part of the 51-page lawsuit that has been filed. And the biggest thing here is that the city had a duty to provide legal disclosure to the residents. It's a fight that's been going on for more than a decade. And just this year, Fairway Oaks residents were given hope as they watched multiple council members, the mayor, and even a state senator tore their sinking homes, but to no avail. But a year after Homeowners Association President Nathaniel Borden made his first plea to our cameras, Borden would make a phone call that has now changed everything. I received a phone call um, that uh, apparently was accidental. And um, on the other end of the line was um, Mr. Borden. Unlike Habijacks, who cited the homes were breaking in half because of lack of maintenance and not from poor construction, local attorney Jack Crumbine said justice needs to be served. How high are the stakes here? Well, it's people's homes. And um, as far as I'm concerned, it's food, shelter, and everything else down the line. So his firm, Crumbine Law, along with the Strims Law Firm, have filed a 51-page lawsuit against the city and Habijax. It outlines 12 different counts against both. First, a breach of contract against Habijax and the city, stating that residents were sold properties that were built on a former city dump without being notified. Secondly, negligence, stating had the city and Habijax informed residents about the properties they were purchasing, they would have never experienced damages. Another count, negligent representation against Habijax. It states Habijax represented that the houses met reasonable standards of quality and habitability, but that Habijax knew or should have known that its representation of quality of houses being sold to plaintiffs wasn't right. The lawsuit goes on to say that there was even intentional misrepresentation against Habijax, stating Habijax concealed or left out important facts. There's a lot of passion uh, that you heard from Nathaniel, and it sounds like you have the exact same amount of passion here. Um, this is about justice. And again, in this lawsuit, there are just pages upon pages of the evidence that Nathaniel was able to provide uh, to the attorney. I think it's just safe to say that the residents of Fairway Oaks are pleased at what's next for them. I'm live tonight, Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, The Local Station.